Hello and welcome to another video of Coffee and Stocks. In today's video, we are going to quickly talk about the price of the tortoise acquisition and if it changed to the downside or the upside. We are also going to talk about Workhorse and their jump in price today as well and if you should get into that or not. But before we get started, how about we get some coffee? All right, let's get one thing straight and that I am not a financial advisor, so don't take my words as advice. Please don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as a subscribe. It really does go a long way in supporting the channel. And I do wanna thank all of you for yesterday's video. It got more than 2000 views and a lot more people subscribed. Honestly, honestly, I do thank you guys and let's just keep going. All right, so thank you for a fellow subscriber. He told me that I was saying S-H-L-L wrong, but today we're gonna say it right. S-H-L-L, this morning had a small dip in price. Starting right off with, this, with the price of around $37, which is a negative 9%. This was a tiny bit scary, but a lot of people noticed uh, the big rise in value of the stock and probably just wanted to sell partial shares in order to pull some of their profits. But for those who waited just a bit longer, there was a huge, huge jump after that with uh, the value going up. Um, it was going to, it went up, to, I think for like around a $42 and 23 cents a pop, which is a great increase. 5% increase since yesterday's market closed. Currently, at the recording of this video, the value of tourist acquisition finished at $38.88, which is still a loss of a little bit of money, but we could be sure that the price really didn't shift that much to the downside. I mean, it is $1.12 under for, from yesterday's close, but there is still 0% sell-off after hours so a lot of the companies and a lot of the peoples that have shll shares aren't selling off which just makes us know that they know how high and how valuable these shares uh, of a shll slash hylion will be later on in the future they know that it could just increase like crazy this means that there is more and more people that are interested in this company, which they could also be categorized as long term and long time believers in the company. More and more people are not only paying more attention to how many of the states are require, uh, requiring cars and, and company vehicles to have lower and lower emissions. So they are looking to invest in those companies that are innovators in the EV market or zero emission market. They are also looking for those massive opportunities and the companies just like we are, especially now that they're going for so low. From today alone, and don't forget this is my opinion, I can see that there was some kind of retention in around the $38 price range. It did drop a little bit, but meaning that I could you know, see stability around that area. And if it does go a little bit lower than that, rest assured that the value won't go down that much. It will most, it, honestly, it will most likely have other people just trying to buy into it at a lower price, which then would just pick up the value right back up in no time. And what I mean is, for example, take, take this morning, it did drop on the low side, but within one hour, we saw it pick up 14% to $42. There is still a lot of hype around it. If it did drop to $37, it picked it up five dollars so all in all because we're all you know also going to talk about workers later on but the tortoise acquisition stock is super super hot right now obviously make the right choices and and don't go and buy it when it's ridiculously high but FOMO is still part of it and I don't doubt that with all this hype and this FOMO the value of SHLL will reach $60 in around two or three weeks. I do not doubt it. I don't know, maybe just the price is just gonna super explode after the merge next month. But do let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. 
Let's move on with Workhorse. Workhorse today has been in a massive, massive increase as well. They're currently going for $18.20 as a closing date today, which is super incredible. Now, that is more than 7% increase just today alone. And if we come to look at the year to date chart, we can see that it was still running pretty low a couple months ago. And we had a massive surge in price going for more than 500% increase holy crap that's a huge upward rise in price for this stock now i could say that just like hylion this stock has also had major major hype to it and workers has potential catalysts that haven't been activated yet which is having people jump into the stock because it's running for a nasty nasty low price workers does have a few catalysts and I just want to mention them super quickly so we can get, you know, reminded of what they are. First one is a chance and opportunity that they have in order to get a piece of the contract with USPS, which if they do get it, it would be the con it would be a contract worth around $1.6 billion. To be fair, the hype of this news has technically already been applied to the price of the stock. And I don't think the value will shift that much, but Workhorse is the only company that's all electrical, that's all electric, American owned, which has already already worked with major companies like UPS, FedEx, and others. We as investors do have to understand that since some of the catalysts aren't active yet, the value of the stock has been on a sideways track. For example, like here in the one, one month chart, we are just up 15%, which is still pretty good, not gonna lie. But when the catalysts do start coming in, into fruition, the stock price is just going to grow immensely. I don't think much else is going to happen since there hasn't been anything new for Workhorse. Today, the price went higher because there's still a lot of hype behind it. Just like the USPS contract, there hasn't been any actual decisions on to who's getting the contract. We can speculate who will get it or if Workhouse will get it. Uh, or if we're, obviously Workhouse will be the one to get it, but until anything is actually said and done, then the stock price will not change much. I can say that it might change between $15 and $20 because of the hype, and we could still get into it, and we could start our positions into it, you know, right now between those two prices and still get pretty good returns, but until they get the contract, the price won't shoot up, or down if they don't get the contract. Who knows? Anyways. That was the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Tortoise Cycle Stations, just like Workhorse, still having some massive hype behind them. And they both have some catalysts behind them as well, which can have their stock price rise, rise tremendously. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as to subscribe because honestly, it does really go a long way. And thank you for those who have already subscribed and liked the video. Comment below if there are some other topics that you would like me to make a video about, but until then, see you on next time on Coffee and Stocks.